welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new gift guide today we are talking the men the boys in our life the ones that we really struggle with i'm not gonna lie i hopefully have a few ideas that some of you may be able to take and use or take inspiration from i will leave everything linked that i can in the description box below i feel like we should just jump straight into it but i am going to just say with the men in our lives and some of these gifts are for my family members so if you are watching look away now but i think with men you've just got to really find their hobby their enjoyment their passion and just kind of go with that when buying gifts so a lot of these maybe would be suitable for some men and not others without further ado let's jump into today's gift guide for him so the first gift idea that i bought from tiktok shop is this now i think these are genius i feel like a lot of people will have seen people talk about these on tiktok i think i'm right in saying these are created by ex detectives so they're essentially a case file it comes like this it's like an evidence sealed bag case file of which you get um a few bits of information you have to essentially solve the crime who committed the murder this one is called murder of a millionaire but they've got a few different case file options from looking at um the tiktok videos i think on average these take about two hours to complete so it's like a nice little evening activity it's kind of like instead of doing a board game isn't it so you get 29 pieces of evidence and it's literally like getting a case file that you have to i just think this is brilliant i would love to receive one of those also a really nice umbrella was something that tom and i were talking about the other day he got a really nice one i'm not sure where it's from but it's like a khaki green then i saw this one on next and i thought it would make for a lovely gift it's quite big as well so it can kind of bulk up a pile by the time we wrap this up um, walker umbrella it's called this one is the black with the beige trim and the wooden handle but they've got a couple of different colors good for like a golfer maybe speaking of outdoor activities i got this for myself actually so this is oops got a bit of lipstick on there and um, this is the female version they do have the men's version as well online it's the performance swim coat so these are great for obviously they're nice and fleecy and cozy on the inside waterproof on the outside um but these are great for Yes, outdoor swimming, but also just outdoor activities in general. They're a really nice kind of overcoat, um, hooded as well, obviously. And yeah, I just thought for the adventurer, some kind of wet coat like that. So I've got a few foodie things, foodie related things, because if you don't already know, in our household at least, Tom is the one that absolutely loves cooking. So I've got a couple of things that if your man also enjoys cooking that they might enjoy these i thought would be a good idea like a little gift idea from uni so uni do the pizza ovens which i have recommended as a gift idea before but they are quite they're like a pricey main gift kind of present whereas these are nice and affordable i think they were about six pounds five six pounds and it essentially comes with the all you need in it to make um four 12 inch pizzas you just have to add water and oil and then obviously your own toppings so this is the new york style pizza dough mix i'm not sure tom will like that one i know i will so i picked that one up as well this one is going to be more tom the neapolitan style pizza dough mix that he enjoys the soft thin crust also picked up this for him which is something that i'd mentioned before like because he does a lot of outdoor cooking with the gosney oven as well and um, then i thought like a kind of apron but a manly apron so we've gone for this wax apron apron if i can speak from barber it's one size one size fits all this bit around the neck is adjustable so you can make it as tight or you know as long as short as you want but the fact that it's barber and that it's this wax fabric just makes it like i say that bit more manly you can also fold over that bit so that they can just tie that bit around their waist rather than having this bit up top as well and obviously then it's got the little pouch for all your tools and yeah, i just thought that was a nice little gift idea for the barbecuer of the household which tends to be the blokes doesn't it i also picked up some pajamas now again these ones are actually women's from uniqlo i feel like they do some really nice check style pjs you could even go matching if you can convince your other half to do that or your family to do that i'm struggling with that one i'm not gonna lie abercrombie and fitch is another go-to place for things like that like comfy trousers loungewear for him and for her i've got this little bag from selfridges and inside here we have 
something a little fancy from Penhaligans. So last year I got Health Fetty for both Tom and my dad. Both of them love it. I love it as well. I kind of want it myself. But I thought I would pick up this as like a cheaper alternative if you don't want to go for the full fragrance, which is a couple of hundred pounds. Then they do the body washes. The actual container of this I think looks really, really pretty to just have out on display. But yeah, this one is a body and hand wash in Health Fetty. So I got this book and I thought this would be again fun for the explorer, fun to maybe do together and it's called the Great British Bucket List. Utterly unmissable Britain. So it's got a whole different range of like places that you can visit, activities and things which could be fun. Um, now I, I think, how much does this retail for? 12 .99. now. Nine. <laughs> wow. 12.99 and I saw this online on a website for five pounds. What I didn't read when I read, when I bought it was the small print that these are secondhand. Now this is in perfect condition. Looks like it's never been used. It looks like it might be an unwanted gift to be honest with you. But in the front, it actually has a little message. Hoping this book inspires many motorhome adventures. Love, Nick and Jane, Christmas 2019. Someone's bought this as a Christmas gift and it looks like it's gone unwanted or they've maybe had a flick through and then donated it but um i wanted to keep this for ourselves anyway so the fact that it's got that note doesn't really matter kind of adds to the character of it but um yeah i wasn't planning on gifting this i was planning on having a good flick through it myself actually how can we not include a treat within a christmas gift guide and i picked up these these i'm going to give to tom as well actually because i think he will really like these these are from a brand called cox and co not only does it look nice as far as treats go but these are 100 percent dark chocolate, single origin, pure cacao, sharing shards, no refined sugars, suitable for vegans. So it comes in this little pouch and they are actual just shards of dark chocolate. I did also get another snack type gift that we can give to him. These are actually probably better suited in his stocking, but um, I also got this for Tom from Dalesford, this grass fed beef, little biltong pieces, you know, nice looking treats as well. And then the last of the treats that I picked up, I will give to my brother, I think, because he loves his golf. So I picked up some golf balls for him from Titleist, but I've also seen that Lint do the same size packaging, their own golf balls, chocolate version. So I thought they'd be quite nice to gift together. So he's got some nice golf balls to use, but also some nice chocolates to enjoy as well. Now I have some joggers as well for my brother that I'm gonna give to him. These are from a brand that is based in Manchester. Tom personally is a big fan of this brand, but they had like a big sample sale that he went to and picked these up. It's called Private White Company and they've got this big, we've actually been before the um like a big warehouse where they create the products where they create the clothing and yeah it's well worth having a little tour of the factory if you are into that but for um for gifts i just got him this pair of like olive colored joggers and private white are known for their touch of like rose gold which you can see on the little toggles here and there's also a little button where is it here on the back and then the branding is just here on the side but another brand that do really good um loungewear i think for men especially like the hoodies i actually wear them myself the men's ones abercrombie and fitch so yeah anyway moving on for the tech lover air tags are always a great shout especially for the clumsy tech lover the one that seems to lose their keys or whatever, you can throw air tags in like suitcases for when you're traveling so you can track it. Um, but also I picked up this from TK Maxx. I thought this was a great discount. These retail for 90 pounds and they were down to 12.99. And these are the loop for air tags from Apple as well. So you can get Apple products in TK Maxx. Just jumping in here after showing you that air tag um, holder from TK Maxx because look at this this has just arrived from a brand called trove and i thought i'm gonna have to mention it so it arrived just after filming the video so that's why i've not included it in that but had to share these with you a couple of their made in england with traditional leather working skills every trove is a product of craft and creative thinking so this is their cash wrap which tom will love and use then this is called their swift and then they also have this which they've personalized for tom with his little, oops, with his initials. Um, and yeah, this is a little air tag um, holder as well. Perfect. Couple of book suggestions. I always think books are a nice kind of beefy present to 
bulk up a pile. And I got this from the Holly's farm shop recently. You may have seen in a vlog, food from the farm, from the farm, from the fire. And it's kind of like gold foiled on the front. Really, really pretty cover. And it's just a stripped back, simple um, Scandinavian flavors of open fire cooking with different recipes in there. Then, so again, for the chef, for the cook, if your other half likes to do that. But then also like their business lover, the entrepreneur, I thought this would be a nice book to gift for Christmas, the Diary of a CEO book, The 33 Laws of Business and Life by Stephen Bartlett. And then last but not least for books, the Rolex book. So this I bought for Tom last year for Christmas, I think it was, I think it was. Um, the watch book, Rolex updated and extended edition. Now this just has, so Tom absolutely loves his watches. He's really into them. And this in particular, the Rolex book is, it's just got like loads of like old classics. I don't know, just, I'm not really into it if I'm being honest with you. But looks like a gorgeous display book in his, he has it in his um, kind of the top floor, his dressing room office. This is a great brand. It's called, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but is it Deluge, Deluge? Um, but they essentially sell individual straps for loads of different makes and models of watches from budget to high end. These start from around 15 pounds up to hundreds, depending on which watch make and model and which design you go for. For the wine lover, obviously a nice bottle of wine, but also maybe to go with it, this wine cooler, I thought I would recommend as a gift idea for him. Um, obviously for her as well, but Dales for Farm, this is from. So you can buy, I was, I've never actually been to Dales for Farm. I would like to go one day, but I was just making an order online and these wine coolers, I just think look lovely out. They make a great addition to a bottle of wine as a gift. This was Tom's main Christmas gift last year from pretty much from everyone. We all kind of chipped in for these because these are luxury. Now you can just get individual knives, but he got the sets, like one of the classic sets of knives. I don't tend to go near these because they scare me. <laughs> I'm just going to carefully share this with you. It comes in this leather pouch, but this is the set that he went for. They do a few different ones. And again, you can buy them as individuals. So you don't have to get a full set. So next up, I have a business called Home and Hadfield that very kindly sent over two of their cases. So again, if they're into watches, but also these, um, you know, extend to knives or like just storage for your bedside table. But um, they essentially, well, they come, it's quite hard to show you but in this beautiful box, which obviously you can keep it in, wrap it up for Christmas, and then it opens up to, essentially they have these gorgeous watch boxes. Again, they do do boxes for different items as well. Keep your watch box looking brand new. Comes with a little cleaner. Ian and Phil, friends since the age of 13, co-founders of Home and Hadfield. Till 2018, we were living a life by default, at which point we made the decision to live a life by design. Love that. We were in our 30s, burnt out with demands of city life. We then decided to start our own business, never go back to life as we knew it. And honestly, the way that these arrive is just like, it's already kind of gift wrapped for you. A little pull out drawer as well, which you can pop some bits in. And it has the acrylic lid, which will see allowing it to be a really nice display box where then they are protected from any kind of dust. And they've got a more luxury option, which again, you have the pull out drawer. You've also got the lid that opens like so, and then you've got the leather kind of bits, which your watch sits on. And then again, like attention to detail with this brand. It's just the small things. These are the small things that make me happy. Little, pst, we have a little something extra in here. And it's just some protectors for the base of the um, watch box if you wanted to use them. So yeah, really, really lovely brand. I would highly recommend you have a look at their full selection of different display boxes that they've got. They've got some smaller ones. So I've got this, which I think Tom and I will honestly both use. I might even wrap it up for him as a gift for Christmas because um, he is even more of an ice cream lover than me, but the Ninja Creamy Breeze. <clears throat> trying to speak quietly because he's actually in the house. But anyway, this is just something that I keep seeing all over online that I really wanted to try as well. And I thought, especially how much ice cream Tom is a fan of, I thought this would be lovely. You can make your own little pots up with like frozen fruits and whatever you want to make 
from a souffle, but whatever it is. Make your little pots, freeze them for 24 hours, then you pop them in the Ninja Creamy and it makes it into ice cream. So super, super simple, but also you can do other things, which it says on here. So you've got smoothie bowls, thick chocolate milkshake, sorbets. Oh, I've got another big box that I need to open to share with you. I feel like these are all bulky items. You should just see the state of this room right now. It's a mess. It is essentially from a brand called Netview that sell these bird feeders and they are solar powered. So perfect for um, having in your garden, but also they have little cameras. So you can pop the camera, it's boxed up at the minute, but again, you'll see on screen a better image, but you can pop the camera in so that you can watch the little birds come and pick up their bird feed, but also they do uh, the the nesting boxes as well, which I think we're gonna buy. And you can have, I think there's a camera on the outside and the inside so you can see them nest, which how lovely is that to watch the birds create their nests and just, you can see them come and go. You can connect it to your phone and just watch them. I just think it's such a lovely idea. So that is gonna go ahead and conclude my gift guide for him for 2023. I hope you guys have enjoyed and got some inspiration, got some ideas yourself, of course. Any other ideas, leave them in the comments below for everyone to see and make sure to stay tuned for my stocking filler gift guide, which is coming next. I hope you guys are enjoying the gift guides. Thumbs up if you are, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.